interesting though, like for instance, when you flew the first time from the ground, right? Like we were doing a shot where he flies away. It was like actually one of the first times we shot in the suit, right? Yeah. So it was Amy and Henry coming down on a wire and they had a dialogue scene and then Henry flies out of the scene. And we hadn't talked about it like how it was going to end, right? Because he's just supposed to, it's a visual effect. He just goes and flies out of the, the scene. And so Henry did this thing where he like, he like inhaled deeply and kind of like looked up. Yeah. And I was like, oh, that's the flying away. Right. Yeah. We never went like, okay, when I finish the dialogue yeah. and I have to fly away, happen? is there anything I should do? She yeah. just walked off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He had to do this thing where he did his fly away, then he had to duck down. Right. Yeah, it was right. really bizarre. People who didn't know, and it happened to quite a few people <laughs> on camera, who didn't know what I was doing, they'd just be staring at me while everyone else was doing that. A couple of guys um, who were in the movie, and uh, special forces guys, and they were standing there being all tough and hard, and they told me afterwards that they saw, saw me suddenly look up and breathe, and one of them was going, he's got a really long neck. And you could see this whole process happening on camera. It was like, uh, dude, he's, he's not there anymore. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh, okay. I thought, if I was flying and I wanted to go right, what would I do? If I was flying and I really wanted to go faster, what would, what would I do? I just tried to keep it really simple. I didn't overthink it. When you, if you're riding a horse, you look in the direction that you want to make the horse go. And so that happens naturally after some time. When you're doing something like flying, I would say it's much the same. You, sort of, you, you move your body in the direction that you want it to go. I thought just choosing one way or the other wasn't the way of doing it. So that, that stuff. Yeah. <laughs> that was you, meant you to do. You chucked that out really early on. That was early on. That was the Superman prototype. Yeah. Prototype Superman. Right. Yeah. I remember going, yeah, that's that's yeah, a thing. We work. should probably film that. They gave us as a present that uh, giant DC book. I used to just lay it on my chest and hope <laughs> through osmosis that I would uh, absorb uh, the ancient secrets. But uh, I never even opened mine. It's still got the plastic on it. Oh no, oh, really? dude, sell no. that. You could sell it. <laughs> Sign it. Sell it. What do you Sign think it, I'm gonna do? Yeah. Well, normally it's taken me about five months to draw movies for me it's like the first time you get kind of to take a run at the movie you know when you get on set you, you know you've kind of done it once in your head but in this case it was another three or four months of just R&D on the fighting that's actually one of the key things on this film then is the level of preparation really surprised me it's so old school you know zeroing in on those fight sequences so when we shot them they went just like, you know, as, as smooth as you can have because of the preparation. Yeah, we ran that fight a good hundred times before we actually filmed it. I just told Russell to be gentle, you know? <laughs> I'm, I'm not used to this kind of thing. When it came to the training, I think it was five months, over five months worth of training before the movie and then training throughout. I had a full day after every training session each morning. You get the massage, right? Oh, That's yeah. the key, right? <laughs> Each other. Yeah, each other. <laughs> that was how was we very money. Massage ring. In yeah. costume. Yeah. I had a hard Full time costume. working through the rubber suit, though, <laughs> to get to your, to your, uh, what are they called? Buttocks? Yeah, yeah. buttocks. buttocks. <laughs> I had a Justice League uh, bedspread. From what ages? Like a couple of years ago? <laughs> yeah, yeah, from 13 to 26. <laughs> I, I had a, quite a funny experience after the phone call with Zach, which I missed initially. I'm like, yeah, yeah. is Henry there? I want to tell him he's got this, it's going to be Superman. No, he can't come to the phone no. right now. Anyway, I call Zach back. I, I get, I, he, he tells me I have the movie, and then I call everyone. Not one person picks up. And so I'm sat, standing there in my room going, did I just dream this? Oh, yeah, I could have been a prank call. Just joking. Just joking, hey. Yeah. You were terrible. That's so funny that you thought I meant that. That's crazy. My fiance is a really big superhero graphic novel fan, so he was really excited. Um, then we had some inappropriate conversation, which I suddenly feel like not mentioning. Yeah, it's like, oops. It's <gasps> no, the second. more inappropriate, the better. So he was very excited that I was Lois Lane, and so. He's got we'll a costume he, he, himself, yeah. has he? Yeah, we'll just leave it at that. Who needs details? Yeah. <laughs> you know, I always think about the 50s, you know, the TV show. For whatever reason, it's just ingrained in my mind. It's like, you know, strange visitor from another planet who came to Earth's powers was far beyond those of you know, like, I mean, you've just seen it like a thousand times on TVs. Right. Personally, during all of my research, the stuff which I really, really enjoyed was uh, from modern age, um, which was Death of Superman, Return of Superman, that kind of stuff. Quite simply, just because it was getting to a point where they wanted to make the stories somehow different, and there was that wonderful sort of evolutionary stage. And um, also, I love the artwork, and the story writing was good. And that sort of, but the evolutionary stage certainly applied to what we were doing with Superman as well. It's the, the new suit and, and the different kind of character and a bit more 
insight into how he feels about being in the world. By the way, that Clark Kent was not a bumbling Kent, you know. He was very cool as, you know, fedora. Not a bumbling Kent. Cool. David Goyer, the writer of the screenplay, he'll talk about, like, there was a super horse, super <laughs> dogs, yeah. super chimp. I think his name is uh, Bupo the Chimp. Whenever I have a question, I call David and ask him about, like, is this cool? No, if I ever had any <laughs> Superman questions, I'd just call Amy's fiance. Yeah, exactly. That's right. Mr. Red Pants. He's, he's, he's just so you know, we never reenacted anything. It's just, it's just a, a joke. Best to stop while you're ahead. <laughs>